What is up guys? Today we are at the courts and we are doing a day of training like WNBA icon, legend Sue Bird. So I'm really excited. I don't have a Sue Bird jersey. Hopefully I'll get one soon. The WNBA is having a great restart to the season. So I really wanted to highlight a female athlete who trains hard and is an incredible athlete in her own right. So she says during the off season that she trains a lot harder than during the season. She does um, basketball practice on the court. She also hits the gym, does some upper body work and some static lower body work, lifts some upper body weights. So that's what we're gonna go through today. We're gonna do some drills. We're gonna play some 1v1. I'm super excited because I love the sport of basketball. I love to watch it. I love to play it just for fun. And so it's gonna be really fun to go through her day of training. Yeah. I know why they ain't know me, so I switch pots. I'm not running out of fish, so fuck a pit stop. I've been balling since a youngin', so I take shots. She just wanna fuck me, cause she know I get guac. I hit the jackpot. Let's get everything moving. off with some practicing some threes some shooting drills um yeah we're gonna start with that before we move into like some layup drills some 1v1 some footwork and stuff like that i'm gonna try to shoot some threes can we just photoshop it going in understand why real games are played outside or I mean inside in some AC because it's freaking hot and so I'm gonna take off this jersey Rounding this thing, get ready for the ball, catch it, fake it, drive the lane layup. Okay. Hey, yep. Drive. I'm gonna be shooting off of if I'm right. Does it matter? There you go. Come on. Boom. Oh! Free throw is for believe the jump kind of thing here all fucking day. Oi! Probably does. <laughs> oh. Basketball practice is hard and I'm practicing free throws without jumping. Just don't yeah, my footwork definitely needs work. I never got any proper like basketball coaching, so a little bit closer. Yeah.
on the rebounding. So like shoot, lamp, whatever you want. You're moving forward while you're taking the shot. No, frosty. No. Frosty? Froster isn't the good stuff. You think you're thinking frosty. It's from no, Wendy's. I want froster, not from Wendy's. Oh, kick it. I, if Subway wants to sponsor this, my filmer just takes Subway payments. So I could get him to film more if I had some Subway gift cards. Just I don't say. care. It can just be ham. The cheapest thing on the menu. I don't even need that oven bake, you know? Just the ham. Can we warm it up at home? <laughs> We're cheap. Do we have to toast it? This is the lowest production film we have created. Tripod stand. We have a tripod Amazon. right here. 50 bucks on Amazon. <laughs> Perfect. I think we're going to practice some offense, like one on one. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Do you follow me on TikTok? Okay. <laughs> Let's go. I want to see some real speed. I'll show you real speed. It was harder than I thought. I mean, obviously I knew we weren't just gonna go to the court and play a game and play 21, which is what I usually do. But uh, yeah, like all the sports that I've been doing, what I've been realizing is like the mental endurance of staying with it, especially in the practice later on when you're physically tired, but there's still skill work to do. Like it's not necessarily like my fitness training or things like that where you can almost check out because you're just doing like grunt work not necessarily all this like skill and maneuvering with like an external object so that was really difficult and two it's like super hot out today so hot and sweaty pretty excited to go get some cold water maybe a froster um refresh before we hit the gym oh. yeah. anyways uh we want to go to the store to grab some frosters froster is like a slushy sugary drink um, but he loves them and so that's my thank you to him for filming and helping me film this series um, because I know he doesn't necessarily enjoy holding a camera for three four or five hours a day um, but he forgot his mask and I left it out of my bag so it wasn't going underneath all the camera gear and of course I forgot it in the field so as you saw I had to break back in to the court and get the mask. <sighs> what a time to be alive. I can't wait until we have kids and grandchildren and they see videos of like NBA, WNBA games with fake fake fans in the stands and they're like, what is going on? Um, and when they see pictures of all of us wearing masks and they're like, huh? But you know what, I think it's really important for the safety of everybody, wear a mask. Do you like your froster? It's really good. Cream soda. Mmm. Okay, so we had a quick turnaround. You can tell because I'm not even done my froster yet. 
Um, but we're back at the gym. We are going to do some of Sue Bird's training. So from what she said during the year, so during the actual season, she doesn't do much gym training in the gym. They just don't have time and they're obviously playing really hard and practicing really hard on the court. But during the off season, she does spend time in the gym and what she does is she says with her lower body, she doesn't do much work with weight training, a lot of static movements. So I'm thinking like one box jumps would be good, but also some like squat holds or wall sits. She says static lunges as well. So like just some lower body endurance. So I'm going to definitely do that and some jumping. And then I'm going to do a lot of upper body. She says she does upper body with weights, um, some like explosive movements, kind of similar to like Tiger Woods training last week. So um, yeah, let's get after it. It's a current day strain at 4 p.m. All right, this workout actually felt really similar to Tiger Woods workout where it's high reps, um, a lot of upper body pushing and pulling. And um, it seems pretty common for a lot of athletes that don't necessarily need to put on muscle mass, but they wanna be explosive uh, and stronger in that area. So did a lot of explosive movements with the upper body. For the lower body, did a few static movements, did some box jumps, as well as some like lunge holds with lunge jumps that got the legs burning, but just using body weight. All in all, again this week, definitely the on court, which is similar to like the on field and the actual sport training was the most difficult versus like the gym training. That's pretty common for me being that like gym training is what I do all day. Definitely massive respect to the goat Sue Bird. Um, can't wait to go and watch her in the WNBA. Leave me a comment with who you think is the goat of the WNBA. In fact, the WNBA had like record setting numbers on opening weekend last weekend, which was amazing. 